everyone hope you're well I am here today to do some planting in the air fryer I was thinking about this and someone on my air frying my air fryer unboxing they were asking whether planting can be done in the air fryer and if I can show it so I thought let me have a try so just going to cut it open and this planting I've been trying to let it get ripe because I like my planting when it's the outside is um, like really really dark and this one is not as ripe as I um, would like it to be but I'm gonna give it a try going to just use this for now and I'm going to put my air fryer to preheat okay so you can hear the air fryer going in the background the first lot I'm going to do I'm going to try um, I think I'm going to do three and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it straight on the actual grill piece boy on the actual grill piece and I'm only going to do three just in case they kind of stick when I'm using this normally I like to put some of my grease proof paper down but I want to see so I haven't put any oil at all on this this these batch I haven't there's there's no oil at all so let's see and I've got it on around 170. So I'm going to leave that for a probably for about five minutes or so, and then I'll be back. Okay, so it's been okay, so it's been five minutes. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is what it looks like cooking well I'm just gonna turn it turn it over yeah see it's stuck a little bit not too bad but oops So we're going to do this side for five minutes again. So it's been about five minutes again. Let's take it out and look. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So it's like, it's not as crispy. Maybe if I leave it for a little bit longer, it will crisp up a bit more. pull it in for like a minute or so okay so that's been a minute now so ah uh, yeah you see it's crisp up nice all right let's look so this is what this one's like white hat jeez man. all right take two <laughs> i'm gonna pull it here on this plate i'll just put tissue just in case there was oil but obviously this one it won't have oil because there's no oil on there so that's what these look like with no oil at all what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna spray a tiny bit of oil on the actual um tray bit and then i'm gonna put three again of these and I'm gonna put a like spray a tiny bit of oil. You can't see, sorry. I'm gonna spray a tiny bit of oil on top. Oops, <laughs> on top. And this is like basically, you know, 
the first one is if you don't want to have oil any oil at all and this one is if you want to use like minimal oil because when you're frying planting you normally fry in whole heap of oil so let's pull it in for five minutes again and i'll be back okay so five minutes has gone by let's have a look so, yeah see they did much better with a little bit of oil on there so i'm gonna flip them over still stuck a little bit but not as whoops but not as much because they're so soft but i would definitely probably definitely probably <laughs> i would definitely put like greaseproof paper first because that will help it to probably slide off let's pull it back for another five minutes And I'm not bothering to oil the underside because there was oil on the actual grill bit. So, yeah. Okay, so five minutes has gone by. Let's have a look. Okay, here we go. So this is, I think definitely a little tiny spray of oil is, oh, <laughs> a little tiny spray is good for it. And I'm going to do the little minute to see if it crisps up a bit but if you don't like crispy planting then you can just go with it like this oops then you can just go with it like this but let's have a one minute okay let's have a look so that's them so I'm going to let these cool down for a little bit with the other ones. Okay, so let me try and get this back a bit so these are the ones that had no oil at all that's better these are the ones that had no oil at all and these are the ones that had a little spray of oil so you can see that these these ones they're still nice but they're a little bit drier and that if you this thing's going hold on that's it and if you break it that's what it looks like i'll taste a little bit of this one mm. it's nice it's definitely not, not to like fried planting i'm not gonna lie but if you're trying to cut down on your oil and you've not been having planting this is a good way to do it this is the one that had the bit of oil on it and as you can see it's like it's it's not as dry it's still quite tender this tastes good and it's got a bit of a crunch to it i think like you know like um it has half a taste of roast planting or oven baked planting and half the taste of fried planting so yeah you can air fry um planting and it does taste really good i actually quite prefer this because i've cut out so much oil i've um i've kind of lost the taste for oily things like really greasy things really kind of upset my stomach and it doesn't taste good to me so these i'll do these definitely now that i know that in the air fry it does well and what you can do is if you put it in for a bit longer you can make like um you can make planting chips so that will be a nice thing like for a little snack so thanks for the idea thanks for the um the comment in my other video and yes i hope you enjoyed it give me some more ideas or things that you want me to try out in the air fryer hi everyone i'm back i thought i will just show you this little 
concoction <laughs> that I made um, with the plantain. I've got in here, I've got some plantain, some mushrooms, some peppers and some onions. They're red onions. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're still in lockdown, so I'm using the spices that I've got on hand. So I'm putting a bit of paprika. Some mixed herbs. A little bit of Chinese fire spice. <clears throat> Excuse me. This cold. <clears throat> I need to shake it. And I have some all-purpose seasoning. You could use like a stock cube or um, something like that. And I have some mixed spice. I'm just going to put a bit of that on because I like the taste of that with like planting and things. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. <clears throat> and just to help it along in the air fryer, I'm going to use some of this olive oil in a spray bottle that I just put in the spray bottle. And I'm just going to put just a little bit. Just to help it along a little bit. And I want to mix it up. <clears throat> I want to mix it up so that all the seasoning gets on everything. Okay. And then I'm going to put this in the air fryer and I'm going to put it in there for about, I'm going to put it in there for about eight to ten minutes but I'm going to stop it at five minutes and stir it so I'll be back when it's cooked to show you okay so here it is now I actually left it in for eight minutes I put it on for five minutes and stirred it and then this is what it looks like after eight minutes really nice the planting's cooked really well and like the peppers and onions are cooked through the mushrooms i love the mushrooms done in the air fryer they are so nice so with this i just put a little bit of seasonings on there i didn't want to overpower the taste of this of the individual vegetables i wanted them to still come through but obviously i wanted some seasoning on there so this will be nice with some rice or maybe like a bit of potatoes or what be, or what it would be really nice is to put this in like a tortilla wrap and um, yeah have it like that so definitely the planting is a really good item to put in the air fryer the air fryer made everything so nice and tender and the t like the flavors really come through that's why I really love using the air fryer and then you saw I only sprayed like a tiny little bit of oil on there probably not even more than a teaspoon much less so yeah since I bought my air fryer honestly I've been using it so much and I'm going to be looking at some more recipes so yeah definitely let me know what you want me to try and if you've got any recipes that you have for the air fryer plant-based for me but my family they actually do eat meat and um fish etc etc so if your recipes are meat based i can try it for them or if i like the idea of them for myself i'll just i'll just customize them to be plant-based thanks again for watching and i'll speak to you soon bye Okay, here it is now. I actually left it in for eight minutes. Oh, hold on, the camera's gone wonky. Come on, guys, let's do this, do this. Why is it wonky? Okay, so here it is now. I